Well, people are taking to social media to talk about a local college student controversial Snapchat picture. KSNT News reporter Molly Pat is live in Manhattan to tell us what actions are being taken because of that post. Molly. Jace, a lot of students are upset here after a Snapchat photo that appears to be two people wearing rain ponchos that look like KKK robes and hoods. K-State student leaders and officials say they want this to be a lesson for everyone. Saturday's rain delay at the K-State football game isn't what people on campus are talking about anymore. It's this photo that was taken and posted to Snapchat by Sarah Harper. The caption reads, newest members of the K-State Cool Kids. I thought it was kind of dumb that they had to bring K-State into something like that. Like it's not a really good representation of who we are. And K-State officials are saying the same. Just because an individual says or posts something on social media does not represent Kansas State University. Officials say if posts target individuals on campus or if a student breaks the student code of conduct, that's when they'll take action. And to do that, we have a process we go through to make to, to determine that. Then there would be disciplinary action taken for a student, uh, depending on what it was. Last year, KU cheerleaders took this photo referencing the KKK and were suspended from the team. But regarding the K-State photo, student leaders say there's something more important here. So look at how, how does this impact the way in which we're moving forward. K-State officials and student leaders agree on a takeaway from the photo. That words have meanings and it's important to be very cautious regardless of intent. So the outcome we hope for is that the, the student learns, um, that the people around us learn and, and we come together better as a community. Facts are still being gathered by K-State to decide what actions, if any, will be taken against Harper. One of Sarah Harper's relatives says it didn't even cross Sarah's mind that the photo would reflect the KKK. He says he too hopes this is a lesson for everyone to think before you post online. Reporting live in Manhattan, Molly Pat, KSNT News. All right, Molly, thank you for that. And we'll continue to follow the investigation on what the university will do. Thank